10 Inappropriate Moments in MMA and Boxing. There are several inappropriate moments in MMA and boxing that have been caught on camera. Some of these were funny and others were a total disaster. In this video, we'll be looking at 10 inappropriate moments in MMA and boxing. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification so that you never miss any of our interesting videos. Number 10, Nasty Stare Down. During the pre-fight stare down is an excellent time for you to send fear into the mind of your opponents. The major purpose of the stare down is to build confidence and intimidate your opponent. However, this can become uncomfortable and some fighters seize this opportunity to do nasty things. In this particular pre-fight stare down, Derek Chisola teased Dylan White by saying, I'm going to make you my girlfriend. I'm make you my girlfriend. Next, he grabbed his head with both hands and kissed him on the lips. The reason why it is called boxing is that you're expected to fight with your fists and not with any other part of your body. However, even the best fighters may get carried away sometime, as we've seen in this 1997 fight between Mike Tyson and Evander Holyfield. But for this particular video, we'll take a look at a fight between Steve Yoreth and Stacy. Stacy got a little bit too aggressive and uncontrollable. He pinned Steve to the rope and reached for his ear and bit it as hard as he could. This was followed by several kicks, which continued even when Steve was lying defenseless on the floor. Steve managed to escape from the ring to stay safe, and he was later declared the winner after Stacy's disqualification. Most fighters are usually serious and always ready for business. That means no time to play around, but this particular Thai boxer likes to do things differently. He was able to entertain the crowd by pulling different stunts from his grand entry until the end of the fight. For instance, he intentionally fell from the rope and that was his grand entry. Although his opponent was serious and ready to win the fight, the only thing that he seems concerned about was how to enjoy the moment. He was busy dancing around on the ring while he flawlessly dodges most of the punches from his opponent. Perhaps his most outstanding performance for that fight was when his opponent knocked him down. One would have thought that was the end for this showboater, but he only waited for a few seconds before doing a number of press-ups, then he stood up to hug the referee. Adrian Broner met his match during his fight with Marcus Maidana. Broner was overconfident that he was going to win the fight, as he has never lost any fight before that time. In the first round of the fight, Broner was able to get Maidana in a position where he was backing him. He held his opponent on his waist and air humped him a couple of times. This was humiliating and Bronner did it with pride. During the penultimate round, Bronner had probably forgotten about this earlier act, but Maidana knew that revenge is a dish best served cold. He got Maidana in the best position for revenge and air humped him a number of times. He got the support of the crowd and they cheered him on, but Maidana was definitely disappointed. Coming on the third spot on our list is the inappropriate celebration of Bobby Green after his victory against Lando Venata. He had water in his mouth, which he spouted when immediately he was declared the unanimous winner. Firstly, spitting on anyone is not acceptable. Second, the world is not free from the deadly virus plaguing it, so he showed no sign of concern for the safety health measures put in place. Assuming he has the virus, he would have easily spread it to several people just by that singular act. Every victory calls for celebration, and we all have our different ways of expressing this. For Johnny Walker, celebrating means doing a worm move. After his UFC 235 KO defeat over Misha Surkinov, he decided to impress his fans with his worm dance. He held his right hand in a position that signifies that he's saluting the audience and went flat to the floor like a log of wood. However, he didn't land on the floor as he planned and dislocated his shoulder. The fight with Surkinov wasn't as painful as this dislocation because the fight only lasted for 36 seconds. And the number one most inappropriate moment on our list is this fighter who got knocked down but thought he had won the fight when he woke up. Maybe he had a nice dream. 
where he saw his opponent on the floor instead of himself. He raised his two hands in the air as he celebrated his supposed victory. Which of these moments do you find the most inappropriate? Let us know by dropping a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.